And being from that area, I'm not saying that it's a bad area with drugs, none of that. It's, it's just a small town with not a lot of exposure. So for me to come from a small town like that and be in a predicament like this and be around all these guys, coaches and NFL guys, so it's like, it's, I just want to show that no matter where you come from, no matter how small the town, which is just a little bit of hard work and just keeping the faith, you can, uh, you can make it anywhere. Davis, so, the Giants talk about smart, tough, and dependable. Can you tell me how you embody those characteristics? Uh, one way I embody those characteristics is my off the field. Is off the field. Um, I'm a guy who is laid back, doesn't get into much um, social things. I'm clean off the field and on the field. I make sure I'm detailed in what I do, disciplined in my job. I'm also just going to, just like I said, just be in the right place at the right time, make sure I'm not in the wrong place at the right time. So just little things like that, stay away from the trouble. Um, and also in terms of the smartness, I mean, IQ for the game. I have an IQ for the game. I was studying the game and having a coach from DB coach that I had this past year with Coach Gray. So just those characteristics right there, I can say I embody those. What would you say? Say again. Yes, sir, I had influence with Dallas as well. What would you say is the tool that has grown the most from when you started playing DB in 2019 to now? So the tool that like I Which PC say, your game? Which do you yeah, feel like so you I would most? say probably my special teams, honestly. Really? Yes, definitely. Because <laughs> like I started, so after the switch in 2019, I made my, I made plays on special teams, right. so that's where I started. So I always you always remember where you come from. So I came from special teams. I embody special teams, honestly, and I just use that as my motivation. Is okay. Once you get your special teams, get the defense. So 2019 play a little bit of special teams. 2020 started on all four phases. Uh, then 21 and 22 as became a starter, but I'm still playing on special teams. So I say special teams really played a big role in my, part of my game because there's so many aspects that you can do on special teams, and then. Um, the different techniques that you also have on special team that correlates to defense as well. Is there a particular receiver that you went up against this past year that you look back at as the, the biggest challenge, whether SEC at a conference uh, throughout the course of last season? A uh, receiver that I say that I went up against that was a pretty good receiver was Evan Stewart from Texas A&M. Um, he was a very impressive and just being a freshman, honestly, a freshman in the SEC, pretty good, especially if you're a starter. Uh, just going against him and the kind of game that he had against uh, Alabama and his route running and the way he can high point the ball. So I say that was a receiver that I had the pleasure of going up against and competing with. Darius, you had the opportunity to see Tomlin on the field a lot when you were at the, the senior board, yeah. being able to interact with him. Have you been able to interact with anyone in the staff in a more and more informal capacity while here? So I did interact with the Steelers and the informals. I had great conversations with Coach Brown uh, and, uh, and Taylor. And Taylor. And Taylor as well. So I had just had a conversation with those guys. When, had great conversations. Also, Coach Brown is also a fraternity brother of mine. We are Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Corporate, so just having that connection as well is uh, pretty nice. Any Titans meetings? Yes, sir, I met with the Titans. What were your impressions of Mike Vrabel or, or Rand Carthon? Great talking to those guys, great interaction. Um, going through board work, of course, they want to know your IQ, so just going through the board work and just, uh, just going through talking with those guys and getting to know them, getting them getting to know me was a great interaction as well. Darius, are those praying hands coming on your necklace? Say again. Are those praying hands on, yes, on your necklace? Yes, sir, it is. How strong, ha uh, ha excuse me, how has your faith gotten you to this point? Mom kept me in church every Sunday, you know. <laughs> uh, prayed every, she uh, always tell me to pray every morning before we wake up, before we went to school. Uh, another thing, uh, Jeremiah 29, 11 is one of my favorite scriptures. Uh, like just staying that, like staying the course and the plan that he has for me. So my mom put that, preached that to my head uh, every day. We literally talk about it every day. So I'll say it, this is just a part of the plan that he has for me, and I'm just keeping the faith with it. Darius, so last couple West, the Senior Bowl, you told me that you wanted to go out there and prove people wrong in terms of your long speed, and you actually tracked the fastest speed on during practices at the Senior Bowl. How is that going to translate now to the combine, now all that prep that you put in to be able to put scouts on notice and be like, hey, don't customize long speed again? Uh, most definitely. I mean, uh, long speed was something that uh, was questioned about me uh, and having the fastest time, and it was the, I think it's the eighth, like, like number eight in like the history of that senior bowl. So putting my name in the record list there and then coming here, get another opportunity to show that uh, speed with the 40. Can you give the first two digits of what you're going to run? Let's say it's going to be with a four, and then other, uh, after that it was .4, and let's go for 4-4, four, four, yeah, running that area. Great.